Hello, it's time for sausage. Ah, uh, voice is going out, game's going out. It's all good times. There's people. Where's the train? Oh, there it is. That could have been problematic. We are going to do a BR182 fest. Because we can. How are the sound levels? Uh, yeah, that's funny ones with steps, isn't it? Okay, now we go down here. I hadn't touched this train for a little while, so when I was asked... Oops, Cifa. And that's fine. Do we need LZB on rapid trains? I don't think so, but we'll send it on anyway. And jump in the big fluffy chair. Uh, jump in the chair, and then immediately get out again. Because we need to do headlights and... PZB. PZB. Right. And I better do it the scenario once. Take the break to full service. Alright then. Outline is working. That's good. And slightly unusual. Take the train break to position 1B. Some of the scenario instructions are a bit weird, aren't they? Unlock doors. There's the uh, previous rapid transit owner over there tooling along so rapid transit is a rather old route but this is a rather new train so we've got our 182 and a bunch of dostos the 182 if you don't know it is one of the do re mi trains from siemens that makes music you'll hear that in a minute uh, what else do we need to do? Let's put our instrument lights on. Let's turn them down a little bit. Uh, heady lights, external lights on. It's got so many switches just to turn the lights on. It's, um, we, oh, yes, 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 yes. I know what we have to do. We have to crouch down here. Uh, come back a bit. There we go. I had to watch my own tutorial for this. Wait until 1803. Really? Do I have to? Probably do. There's a green signal up there, so we're good to go there. And he says, I like the 182 in TSW. Sadly, it's the German version of the cab with the round instruments. The Austrian Taurus has the MDF version, but the sound is okay so far. Let's get these doors locked. It's got a clown horn, of course. Because it's German. German trains have cloud horns. You want a bit of throttle. All right, then. You can have a bit of throttle. But that's not going to help you because we also need to choose AFB because I turned it on. So let's go up to 40. Now, because I haven't used... Actually, let's not go up to 40. Let's come down a little bit. Um, because I haven't actually used this train for ages, I'm going to leave the HUD on. They certainly do sound like clown CNW, but I'm telling you now, they will um, out-pull any American train. Sifa. 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 The uh, naggy Sifa lady is turned on. So I have to be a little bit careful. It's safe to release, so I will. So how is everybody today? Hopefully you're all well. Welcome to the uh, welcome to another Saturday stream. Next week we'll be back on Sunday. American trains Pizza. might have nicer sound CNW, but I kind of like electric trains. You know that because you know they are the future of the planet. Basically, there's only a limited amount of time we'll actually be allowed to burn liquid and solid fuels. These things will drop by the wayside in the not-too-distant future, I would suggest to you. Off we go to Leaps, Leipzig Connewitz. Connewitz? Connewitz. Connewitz, I guess. Connewitz? Hmm, Connewitz. 
I'm not sure really. Someone will tell me. Andy will let me know if my Sifa. how bad my German is. Hello, Sifa. Now the other reason I've got the HUD on. It's actually a little bit loud in my ears. I don't want to yell at you. Turn that down a little bit. The other reason I've got the HUD on is I um not sure if you can hear Sifa outside this train. Just get rid of that stop marker that's lurking down there. So we're going to run on rapid transit, and this should be a fairly straightforward run. It's about 30 minutes or so. I'm not expecting Sifa. Sifa. too much in the way of drama unless I mess up a Sifa, which could always be possible. Let's give it a bit more power. That's why it's not getting up to speed. Even though you're um, running AFB, which is essentially a speed control, if you like, you still manipulate the throttle to get enough power without slipping. So it's still up to the driver quite a bit. One of the other little trains. A little jerky on the old rapid transit route. Sifa, Sifa. I think it needs a little bit of optimization, this route. Florian says, Cone, Connie Wits. Okay, thank you. CNW says, I guess it'll cost millions of dollars to upgrade lines to full electrification, which the class ones aren't interested. Well, CNW, I, I really hate to be the bearer of truth to you, young fella. And I hate to be a patronising asshole like I am. But, you know, that's just me. Um, there will come a point in time where we don't actually have any more fuel. Or we've been forced not to use it. One of those things will happen. And it'll be a global thing. And it will happen at some point. So hiding behind, oh, it costs too much. It's too hard. I would suggest to you that the class-run railroads that want to survive are preparing for it now. California's Caltrain is probably a good example. FIFA. FIFA. And of course it has to be economically viable for them because it can't cost so much that it bankrupts them. But they will have to do it. And if countries like most of Europe can pull it off, pretty sure anybody else can too. We're supposed to stop here, aren't we? Whee! Lots of brakes, lots of brakes. Wasn't paying attention, lots more brakes. Are we going to go straight through the first station? I said there wouldn't be any dramas today. I was incorrect. Are we going to have a door in the station? Are we? Are we? Are we? It's going to be close. Oh, yeah. One door. One. <laughs> Let's go down the back and have a look. How many doors did we actually get? Yep. All right. We got two. <laughs> Just. Just. It makes us surprised that one opened. Because, you know, this train... Oh, no, this one does open up if you're um, not on the platform. Must be only do it, must only do that in the more modern routes. That was quite the stop, little 182. I was uh, rather impressed with that. Rather impressed indeed. Let's just bring the brakes down a little bit. Ah... CNW, you're welcome to go somewhere later if you want to. Of course you should. And Florian had a CIFA mishap on Dresden Riza earlier. I'm sure you pressed the button. I am sure I pressed the button a lot of times too. And some of the trains register a really quick tap. And some of them want you to just go gunk, gunk. Ah, it's just part of the fun. We got here a bit early too. And we weren't even speeding. That's life. And he says, actually, the CIFA speech is from Chris Lohner, who also speaks the Austrian onboard announcements, a famous Austrian actress at the age of 80 by now. Very cool. She will live on in trains forever. Because, you know, train companies, they're not going to spend money to get a new voice when they don't need to. Yes, Florian, almost a net worth, and it looks like Nightbot's asleep. Because you did spell that right. Hello, Emmanuel. Welcome. Welcome to anybody who is lurking, by the way. You're absolutely welcome to do that. 
Now I think if I throttle up it'll just go, it'll just head off the AFV speed again. To the point that we can build our own trains in Train Sim World, I reckon it would be really interesting. Do I have to acknowledge the sign? It does not it does have a magnet? And I have to slow down to 85. Will AFE be enough to do it? I'm not sure. I might get a little bit of brakes just to uh, make sure it gets down there. There we go. We're down low enough now that uh, PZB won't fight me. We can throttle up again. Except we're not allowed to. There we go. It's better. Off we go to Leap Swing. Baya Isha. Baya Isha? Baya Isha. Baya Isha. Something like that. Speeding now too. I'm being naughty. I'm a naughty boy then. But that's okay. This train does speed control very well. Catching up with chat. Uh, what have we got? Andy says tip it around one kilometer before the stop. Use the brakes down to maybe two to three bar and then decrease slightly. That might fit. 60 kilometers at the start of the platform might be quick. Okay to stop smoothly. Yes. I wasn't paying attention. I am this time. And yes, I know I can use AFB to slow down. Coming down a fairly steep ramp into Leipzig. To the underground portion of the route. I think I like this stop quite a lot. That'll do. That's pretty close. Very good. That's a strange place to put a camera. I love all the coloured pipes in this station. We're outside the wall. Okay, we'll just stay outside the wall. That's fine. We'll uh, watch our train depart from here. Because we'll be able to hear it. Andy says, don't use the horn that much. We are in Germany. We only honk when there is a peace sign. Yes, I know. Germans hate horns. And why is it Germans hate horns? Because they expect their population to be smart enough to not get in front of a train all by themselves without having to be honked at. Which is a very good thing. Because overall, the population will be more clever. Because they have to look after themselves. I actually quite like that. It's a bit jumpy on the old route there, but we're getting a bit of FPS. In fact, it's not limited. That's interesting. I normally limit to 60 when I'm streaming. I clearly have not turned that on. <laughs> Hello, Daniel Robert Jowett. And thank you, Florian. Leipzig by Risha. Leipzig by Risha. Okay, very cool. Oops, I used the horn again. Sorry, Andy. Accelerate particularly hard or give it a lot of throttle because we're going downhill still. Daniel's just finishing work, very good. FIFA. After this, I have to just start work because I have to start the uh, design work for a little pergola. Yeah. 
This will be fine. It's okay. There's nothing to see here. We've probably got some instrument lights, though. Let's just assume we're still in the platform, shall we? We succeeded. <laughs> Andy says you can use AFB to slow down, but you shouldn't. Well, it's a game. You can do whatever you want. No, I try to drive it the way you should drive it. Is, um, that's the better way to do it. And you shouldn't break as hard as I'm breaking. Naughty. Because what happens when you break that hard? People's stuff falls on the floor. And then you'll be home in about an hour. Well, that's a fair way. And Andy says, okay, so you use rail driver and accidentally press the horn, I guess. <laughs> No, I'm just used to hitting the horn when you depart from stations and things like that, because that's normal for me. Actually, so I shouldn't shut the doors yet, because well, I was watching the, watching the time, not the circle. That's okay. CNW says, in Train Simulator Classic, the brakes will be automatically set to emergency if you exceed the speed limit. Well, on some trains it will, but not all of them. But brakes off. No horn, and off we go to Leipzig Market. And again, I'm not going to give it a lot of power because it's downhill. Don't need to. Let's just uh, turn our lights up just a tad so we can read them. There they go. Florian loves this section of the route. The city tunnel is something pretty unique in TSW. Yeah, we've only got um, a few tunnel routes. There's this one, there's the Bakerloo, and there's the sections into Penn Station on the various subway routes in the US. I quite like this station. It's like a sauna. Yeah, let's stop with the loco just outside the station, and all the carriages in. I think. Let's have a look. Did we do that? We did. That's perfect. That's perfect. We're stuck outside the wall again, but that's okay. That's about spot on, see? Carriage is in the platform, loco not. Don't need a locomotive in the platform. Only Gunzels want the locomotive in the platform. Gunzel. Gunzel is an Australian term for rail fan. Americans tend to call them things like foamers. Why? Because they stand on the side of the track and all this stuff comes out of their mouths. They're foaming. Strange, isn't it? Andy says to the braking thing, they hit the brake hard and then release it slowly and at the speed of 20 kilometres, they release it fully and hit the loco brake to hold the train in a smooth stop. Almost no kneeling. Cool. Lock the doors, brakes off, no horn, and we will get out of here. There we go. It's not very far to Leipzig Hochbahnhof. What does the TF modifier mean? Or TIF? Do you reckon at about 20 they come off the brakes completely? So it's still slowing down by itself at the moment. And then they use the loco brake. It's an interesting way to stop. I suppose it works. Now, I can't think of the last time that I've actually been in rapid transit, to be honest. It's been rather a while. And as usual, we're outside the wall. Let's um, jump in this way. That'll work. That's a hideous bit of lighting going on there, isn't it? It's just... Where's that coming from? I think there's a little bit of a bad light bake in here, to be honest. Oh, I'm stuck behind a machine. Okay, let's go over here. There we go. 
Yeah, I think there's a bit of a bit of bad light baking going on there because that's a a light source that's clearly outside the tunnel. A bit yucky. I'll go back in the train and pretend it's not happening. Look, it's all lit up inside the train too. That should get the doors closed just on time. We're not due out yet though. No, too early. I was just that little two pixels too early. Should I leave them open till the time? No, that's not very not very efficient. Alrighty. Waiting for 821 and then we can go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Got it. We go to Leipzig Mess. My speed now. Up under a thousand hertz. Sifa, Sifa, Sifa. Safe to release. a mighty gradient isn't it four percent that's a mighty gradient yeah. i think i'll have to acknowledge this one maybe no through the points and he says well sadly i can't play that game so frequently these days because i'm waiting for eye surgery that's no good but in october all might be done well for one eye the other might follow soon cataract on one eye and the other is beginning too that's not good mate i'm glad you're uh, able to get the surgery you need be back to normal hopefully that would be good Sifa, Sifa, Sifa. Did you turn around then? I did. Oh, here comes another one. We'll just trust the other train. I trust it knows what it's doing. You can watch this one. Dosto leading. The 182 on the back. I don't have to acknowledge that signal. I would have thought I would. Not surprised. It's a fun bit about having PZB turned on is I'm never quite sure. It's like I kind of know. But it still surprises me sometimes. Which means I kind of don't know. Glad I've got the HUD on because the little CIFA light is uh, in the sun now and I wouldn't be able to see it. Our age, Andy. Not any surgery is not particularly routine, but yes, I get what you mean. I hope it goes well for you, mate. I really do. Big mess coming soon. Is it a gratuitous bridge shot if we uh, jump up on top of a bridge? Surely it is. We better start slowing down for Leipzig Mess too. So it is only just up there. Even though this thing slows down really nicely. In fact, too nicely. Definitely too nicely. It's 
passengers, please note we are now arriving in the Leipzig mess. The driver apologises for his crappy German pronunciation. Next week, we're going to America on a very little known narrow gauge route that's uh, not even particularly widely available for Train Simulator. And that uses the Durango and Silverton. I remember when Rapid Transit first came out and they had all the really shiny trains and I thought, they're too clean. And then I looked at German trains on videos and went, no, they really are that clean. Florian says, same here, Paul. There are moments when PZB gets me and I think, why? Yes, we all have those moments. I'm just grateful that American Freight doesn't have PZB because when you've got a train that takes five miles to stop, that would be a nightmare. So in next week's one, the route's available from the Durango Railroad Historical Society, and it was made by G-Tracks quite a long time ago, back in about 2013, I think. Something like that. Are we going to see both trains depart? Maybe not. There we go. From here, run the train by yourself. Wasn't I doing that anyway? No, we will get to see them both leave. That's cool. exercise wear in a puffer jacket that's pretty much describes the 182 that we're going to be driving next because the next one is a freight version of this thing it's the Dispalock and we've got uh, just one more station to go to it's a little while away though 14 kilometers that will do it at pretty high speed maybe give it a bit more throttle so it can actually get up to pretty high speed that would be a good idea so next we'll be running a relatively heavy freight and you know how they say don't ever stream a game at night and some people say don't stream a game with lots of tunnels well I figured since it's in tunnels why not do it at night because you know it's making a difference so the next one will even be a night run just saying hello to me mate there in the other train as you do. Tomorrow I'm back on steam firing myself. I'm out with uh, Alex and Jeremy. Ooh, LZB does exist on this route and there it goes. Which means I need to put AFB all the way up to the top, don't I? Because now LZB is in control. Andy says, well, the... Axis and ATC is a good safety system too. I like it on the Boston Sprinter, especially the in-cab signalling. It is fun. Um, it is implemented relatively well on Boston. I know that Brandon actually wants to redo the signalling for Boston. So, an interesting passion project. We'll see what comes of that. And then there's the other lines that use it as well, like Hudson. Reached a speed of 100 kilometres an hour in a BR-182. But, you know, that was a while ago. But anyway, that's that's fine. Weirdo achievements. Little pause there. Andy says, my thing is the route introduction, always at night, with bad weather. Okay, that's an insider, but you know what I mean. I do. Sifa. I had forgotten that there was LZB on this route. That's kind of cool. I don't have to do anything now, I just sit here. Because the train should do pretty much everything by itself for a little while. Clearly it's not windy because the... Uh, oops, wrong way. 
The windmills aren't doing anything. Not a thing. It's a sad day in Germany today. No windows. FIFA. Thank you, Sifa lady. This thing's just eating up the kilometres. Hello, Nathan Reader. What's up yourself? I am fine, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining in in the chat, folks. It's always appreciated. Gee, you'd want to say that carefully, wouldn't you? Dilich shouldn't be F. In English, it sounds naughty. Florian says he struggles with the Dispolock version. The Seifer is too quiet and the power doesn't seem to be as good as the other versions. I agree. I do agree on that one. The Dispolock one, um, all of the in-cab noises are quieter. The outside stuff's about the same. I think when the Dispolock one came out, my stream was called Let's Go to Germany on Flying Banana, because it's yellow. Watch out, people. High speed, coming through, stay on the other side of the line. We're actually going. Are we going into a station? Or are we going into a yard? Yeah, it's a station. I think. It looks like a station anyway. CNW says it's my friend's 16th birthday today. Happy birthday. And his name's Nathan as well. Happy birthday, Nathan. But his last name's Sanchez. What's wrong with that? He's got a first name for last name. Yeah, and he kind of likes the Dispo Banana. I should be coming to an LZB end soon, I guess. We're only three kilometers from the station. The train is slowing me down now. Good to see. I haven't got a flashing G yet. I've got a solid one. Does that mean I'm supposed to press the end button? No, I press the end button when the end ender light flashes. I have to remember how to use LZB. It's been a little while. train will completely stop itself on LZB. I know I've had it do it on uh, Castle Wurzburg. I'm not actually sure on this one. Hmm. It'll probably take over at some point. And the other thing I should probably do is reduce the throttle a bit now that we're getting slower so that it doesn't slip by applying so much power that it just slides. We have a yellow signal coming up, and we are stopping very soon. Now, since I'm under LZB, do I have to acknowledge the yellow signal? I guess I do. Find out in a minute. Apparently not. It vaguely seem like the train is actually going to stop itself. Is that the end of light? No. Or is it? Yes, it is the end of light, so I have to release that. It's still driving at the moment, I've just knocked the throttle off. And Florian says it'll only stop if the signal's red. Well, good news for me, it's red. So let's just see. I'm not braking, I'm just sitting here. I'm not doing anything. And it's gone beyond the stop point, but I want to see what it does. I'm kind of surprised it's doing this, because the um, LZB wire is gone. So how does it know what to do? Interesting. You know, I don't trust it to completely stop. I am actually going to break now. <laughs> I think this is the end of the run anyway. Good work. That's it for this duty. Very good. Set the master switch to off and the parking brake to on. Set the master switch to off. 
fucking great. It's around here somewhere, isn't it? That one. It's in Bark. Okay. Oh yeah, it's not out that way, it's out this way. Bye bye train. No, it's not just climb down, I have to go up to somewhere else. Let's just turn on the markers so we know where to go. Yeah, I figured that, Andy. I just, um, I was curious to see what it would do, whether it would actually stop or not. And it did. So it's kind of cool. So it doesn't stop for stations, as Florian says, it just stops for signals. But I'm kind of curious how it knew, because we'd gone out of the LZB section. Glod. Okay, what are we going to do next? Castle Wurzburg. We haven't been in here for a while. Is the big note to the Xbox family there. I don't know if anybody plays it on Xbox, but it's a little less than obvious, for example. Which one was I going to play? Hmm. Nightcrawler, that's it. That's the one. Good night, Florian. Sleep well. 1am for you. I'm going to be have to up at 3am soon. Evening. This train is currently waiting in the sidings at Wurzburg because there's three of them. There's three flying. It's a banana thon. Tell the Snignola. Alright, told the Snignola. Now let's go and turn some stuff on. Need some light. Cifa, PZB is fine, LZB is normal, light off. Back into the cabin, tell the signaler, because it doesn't matter how quickly or slowly you do that to be honest. Turn on PZB and we should use, is it PZ, which PZB mode are we on? You are scheduled to leave in a few minutes, good, that's fine. Uh, PZB selector, uh, where is it? We've turned the lights on. Where's my PZB mode selector? Oh well. Maybe it's back down there. Let's have a look. Because I don't think I should be on the default PZB. I think I should be on one of the others. No, maybe it hasn't got one. Maybe it figures it out by itself. Maybe it knows it's a freight locomotive, so it runs... It's PZB-O, I guess. Or is it down there? There it is. Because I think... Aren't we supposed to be on PZB-O for freight? I think. I think. All right, we've got a little while to go. Let's finish setting up. We've got headlights on. We've got the external lights on. Reading lights are off. Brake release. That's fine. Train lights on. I actually don't need train lights. It's not a passenger. Put them on. And let's get the cabin lights off. I mean, break seven. There we go, cabin lights off. And I probably want to turn this down a little bit for when it gets dark. And we're going to want AFB turned on. So let's just... Oops, don't do that. Use the correct keys. There. There we go. Back in the chair now. And we have a green signal, but we have to wait for the signaler to report back. And now we're allowed to go. You have been given permission to proceed. You should now have a clear run to Fulda. Yay. Breaks off. And give it some stick. And this one doesn't use... There we go. This one doesn't use the rail driver independent brake lever to control AFB like some of them do. Press E to acknowledge. Well, I've done that. Departing now. But are we? Yes, we are. Okay. Send off that marker. Here 
trying to depart anyway. Use the rocket switch. It does. Cool. Up goes the little banana. I think it sounds like an AC 4400 CW. Well, they are an AC locomotive. Thought I better come back up the front and watch what I'm doing. That's telling me I'm on LZB, I think. I've got an ooh. I think I'm on LZB now, so I can put my AFB all the way up to the top. Away we go. Oh, this is a full run to Fulda. Well, this might take a little while. But it was a short one. I guess not. O is for passenger and U is for slow freight or heavy freight. Depends on the brick. Hundreds, yeah, how they're set up. M is for freight. Okay, so we've got somewhere down here there's a PZB switch. Let's put the lights on. We want PZB mode M. I don't know if it was a good idea to change that while I was on the move. Oh dear. I didn't answer C for quickly enough, did I? Will it let me power up again? It will. We got us Wem Bring Sung for a moment there. Which I always interpret as German for, you idiot, you should have pressed the button. These lights are a bit funny, aren't they? Let's see who keeps going in and out of my front door. Look where they're going, if anywhere. Out of the tunnel. This is why you don't stream at night time. Because you're like, there's nothing. Oh, look in the sky, that's cool. Back in the logo, I think. Tunnel. Only allowed 120 freight mood M. That's cool. And it depends on the speed printed on the side of the wagons. I've seen the speeds there, now I know what they're for. Very handy, thank you Andy. It makes you handy Andy. There you go. There's a blast from the past, handy Andy. I know Aussies would know who handy Andy is, does anybody else know? More Cifa. And after we left Rapid Transit and went into the dark, a few people ran away. Fickle people. Trains do run at night. Could probably give it the rest of its power, I think. Uh, maybe. It's managing to slip by itself. I think I'll just let it go. So it should manage this on its own. The 
flip doesn't stop, I'll um, reduce the power a little, but I think it's coping, because I can see its power meters jumping up and down. What I'm watching is these things. So it's kind of managing it by itself. happy. I was just about to pull back one notch, but no, it's happy. Oh, nothing to see here, move along. It's a little dark. It's just a little bit dark in Germany today, on our way to Fulda. The run after this one's in the daytime. And it's a light engine. Should be fun. You're still here, Michael. Good to see. Andy doesn't like the instruments at night in the 182. You can barely read it. Was that right? Well, you know what I mean. Yes, I do know what you mean. They are, they are a bit hard to read, and you can you can see the speed that you've got there, but you have to look in. the The lights on that you need for PZB and for LZB and things like that, they're all just a little bit bright and while you can turn them up and down you can use this to, to turn them down so you can turn it down to the point where you can see the lights on the dash and they, they light up nicely and you can actually read them but now it's really hard to see your speed needle which makes driving without the HUD very difficult at night time so you just have to try and get a balance between the two probably get rid of the HUD now that we're in the tunnels and we're running on LZB because I'm a bit of a passenger just like you. And as Andy says, Sifa is very quiet. Inside the tunnel. If I turn on the lights. No, you can't see them from outside. Bum. Window. Where's the window? There it is. It'll be a little bit louder at least, Zifa. Kind of makes C for even more quiet. The infinite darkness, the tunnels to Fulda. This is the really long one, I think. The one that just as you wonder will it ever end, it doesn't end, and you have to wonder some more. Andy says he doesn't use the small HUD at the down right corner only, the ones for signals and speed changing. Yeah, I keep those on most of the time. There are some routes where I turn those off as well because I know the route well enough. Birmingham's probably an example of one of the ones where I can run without the HUD at all. Because you just stop at every station, it's fine. I've never actually tried, but I kind of think I could probably run... Oh, actually, no, I have done a run. Ooh, I only just got my power off and power back on again after that. I have actually done a run not watching to do Birmingham, haven't I? On that challenge. Yeah, so I probably could do a Birmingham not watching it at all with my eyes shut. That'd be interesting. Maybe I should try that one day. See if the audio cues are enough to know where you have to stop. Crossing the giant bridge after the giant tunnel, which we can't see because it's dark. It wasn't quick enough on the CIFA. Is the CIFA light not lighting up? Let's just watch, because I don't think I've seen a CIFA light on the dash. All I heard was Zwam Bring Sung. Because you've got to be a bit quick on the CIFA on this one. 
we have an end coming up to LZB too, which means... Oh no, it's gone back up to 72 now. I was thinking that means we're going into a siding somewhere. Yeah, there's no CIFA light. Oh, that's it. I've put the HUD back on so I can see the CIFA light. Nothing lights up on the dash to say CIFA. And by the time it talks, it's a bit late. That's life. Actually following another train, because our LZB end distance keeps changing. It's counting down again now. We've got 72 kilometres to go to Fulda, we've only got 5,800 metres to go on LZB, so I think we're going into a siding. Hmm. We shall see. Yes, indeed. At no light at the night, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Well, there might be, but it could be a train. You probably don't want the train at the end of the tunnel if you're walking through it. As you go, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I can see the end. Splat. And then you become what is known in the industry as a smear. She gets scrubbed up against the tunnel wall by the train and rolled around a lot. So there's not much left. a little bit horrifying, isn't it? Oh, LZB end distance has gone up again. I'm slightly curious about what's going on here. Is that giving me the distance to the next train, maybe? Maybe that's what that is. There are some sightings on KW, and sometimes you do end up in them, but I would have thought the distance wouldn't keep changing like it is. What I'm looking at, just for those who are wondering, I'm looking at this number here, because that's the distance till LZB turns itself off. And it's going up and down, which is... <laughs> Breakfast in my beard. Sorry about that. Shouldn't use the webcam to uh, get rid of it, should I? It's just a handy mirror. It's not my fault. Andy says it's hard to know the stopping points without an Ebola. Not existing in TSW. Indeed. There's another really cool device that I'd love to have. A lot of American trains and a lot of Australian trains have a screen which tells you where the half go. It's going off somewhere. But anyway, um, it tells you what to what your upcoming gradients are, it tells you what your upcoming speeds are, it tells you all sorts of cool things that you need to know. Just enough light here for a side camera. But I think we are going into a siding because our LZB distance is going down, 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 down. Let's see if the train starts slowing down. Andy says it's the distance that LZB can handle. I guess it stops at 7,000 or 8,000. Yeah, but it is actually going down, which suggests we're going to stop. Because it's down to 4,000 now. Ah, we are going to stop. There we go. There seems to be an issue with the train in front. It was running slow and has now come to a stop. I'm on LZB, so I don't have to acknowledge signals. We worked that out before. Eight kilometres. Is LZB going to stop the train? I feel like it is, because it's... Yeah, it is. But it's running behind the curve. It's running behind its own braking curve, so I wonder if I'll end up with an emergency brake. Now, I've got a flashing G, but I don't have an end light, so I shouldn't have to do anything, but there's a signal coming in. It's bloody close. I'm putting the brakes on. I don't care. Because my HUD says this signal's green, but clearly it's not. 
Oh, actually, I just thought of something. That signal isn't red, that one back there, because it had a white light, didn't it? So the train is stopping itself. It's all good. Nothing to see here. I think it just said Pilfry Garble. I think. It's powering up again now. I'll oh, just let it do its thing. It sounds like it's got the brakes on though. I don't have the brakes on. I don't think. No, I don't. Let's make sure none of these levers got stuck. No, they didn't. Andy says, in Austria they have the Ebola on tablets and in paper form sometimes. There is a guy that's um, done an Ebola for Excel. So you could probably run that on a, on a tablet. Because if you took his Excel spreadsheet and chucked it in something like Google Sheets, you could use it that way. I think that's it, Andy. I think it's in sections. That makes sense. LZB in sections. But we are coming to a stop at the signal. The train appears to be succeeding in stopping itself, so I'm just leaving it be after my initial panicky braking that I didn't need to do because I saw what looked like a red light but turned out not to be. I think I was meant to stop back there, so let's just do that. Press to contact the signaler. Down there, down there, somewhere, there he is. Denied. Service in front is running slow, has now come to a stop. Do you know if a mechanical fault has occurred? I can confirm that the service in front has developed a fault and remained in its current position, so now we are going to route you past it. Excellent. Time for some wrong line running in the dark. In a banana. Okay, we've got no little lights up there as yet. So we still can't go yet. But the train is going. Ah, green signal. Okay, brakes off. Power on. going to power on? Should. There it goes. It's one of those things that just makes you wait long enough that you think it's not working. Andy says for a bully you can also use the paper version. It listed slow sections that are not regular and other things like end of switch parts, LZB start and end and so on. Yeah, we have similar things here. They're called driver's cards. Or boot cards, they're often called as well. Normally in buses and trams, they call them a route card. And in trains, they call it a driver's card. But it's pretty much the same thing, and it's pretty much a buller on paper. line to go around this stricken train. So I dare say at some point we're going to see a broken down ICE because that's what went out in front of us. Pop back up to 9900 on LZB which is the maximum distance it can portray.
I see you. It's the other banana. Sucks to be you, banana train. He might be out looking at his loco. Just warning we're going past. See going the other way. Couldn't tell which ICE it was. It's probably a one on this route. Although I think trees do inhabit it as well these days. I think there was an update that laid it in. We are back on the main track now. A little bit more power. Use the slip by itself. Goes. We actually get up to 100, I'll pop up another notch. And again, let it manage to slip by itself, and it should be fine. It should be. quite enjoy in a scenario is when you do have a situation that's unusual and you have to deal with something like that one. Because faults are a real part of railway life. It's a rare train that is completely free of gremlins. rest of it's a pretty straightforward cruise to Fulda. Take a little while though. We don't retire. We're doing fine. In next week's stream I'll be using the, the G-Trax route for Durango Silverton but I've grabbed the milepost simulation locomotive off the RGS route and I'll be using that one because the one that comes with the G-Trax route it looks okay but it hasn't got a cab interior and its physics are a little a little old school so they're a little simple whereas the one from Milepost is a little more complex Andy says there are some funny nicknames for the ICE like Weebwurst or Tunnel Tampon. Yeah, I could see that. It's basically a giant sausage. Pantograph view. else seems to be lit up but it's slowing down again oh no it's, a, it's applying braking because we're going down a steep hill i get it you 
running LZB, the uh, CIFA is quite important. It's the only thing between you and having a bit of a sleep for a couple of hours while you wait for your train to get where it's going by itself. I wonder how many drivers do actually turn off CIFA and just have a snooze. It's probably not a very safe thing to do, but I wonder if any of them do it. So whoever it was who asked me last week, the passenger 182, the one that hangs around on rapid transit, I quite like it. This uh, banana version, I think I would prefer to drive the 185 MRCE rather than the banana version of this train because the CIFA is very quiet on this and I have to keep the HUD turned on because the CIFA light doesn't come on on the dash. So if I was choosing between a 182 and a 185, I think I'd run the 185, because it works properly. But it's LZB's working okay, it's PZB is working fine, so the important stuff's going. Hello, Anarchist Angel, how are you? Welcome to the stream. We're on Castle Wurzburg, and we're driving a banana. Dispolock 182. having some fun with LZB. We are sadly limited to 120 kilometres an hour. Very sad. Anarchist Angel says 155 for everything. Yeah, I could certainly understand that. A little bit of light up here so perhaps when we get to this slightly lit up portion I can go no I missed it I forgot up here nah. I was hoping to be able to see the train a little bit there Andy said it's not possible because most locos might only run 50 kilometers an hour without CIFA enabled and PZB is only allowed to turn off when shunting longer than 30 minutes I guess not sure ah. You know, these Zwang Bremsung words have a real meaning, but as I mentioned before, to me it just means, you idiot, press the button. And I still don't know why it's beeping like that. Anarchist Angel says, sweet, unfortunately. The 182s are broken except for the MRCE one. The DB traffic red one speedometer is completely off and the disbelock sounds aren't portable. The, um, I was in the DB traffic red one before on rapid transit. It was actually working okay, so maybe it's had an update. The speedo matched the HUD. in our night banana getting a little bit of side train action whenever we can It's a speed limit change thing. So it's beeping every time there's a new V zeal that is lower than your current one. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Now I've had a Zwam Bring song, haven't I? Andy says there are different CIFA systems, point to point and time CIFA. With the point to point CIFA, good engineers use it to measure the train length in the 1144, for example. Cool. It's a 
little bit of light, but it doesn't light up the train. It's like there's no train here at all. We're in a dark patch. Driving in a black hole. Some lights in this game are purely scenic. They don't actually light anything up. They're baked in. They're on all the time. If you look closely enough in the daytime, they're still there. This bridge has a light. There you go. Get a bit of side train action here through the tree. Because there's a street light up above us. Another tunnel. We're halfway to Fulda now. Doing too bad for time. It's another bridge with a light, so we'll get another side train shot. Anarchist Angel says, what's your opinion on the C PRCL 700? I'm not sure I've got one. I don't know if I've driven it. PICC says, thanks for making content. I just got the game, so I'm a newbie and your videos helped a lot. Well, you're absolutely welcome. Feel free to ask any questions in the chat. Because um, even if I don't know the answer, someone in the chat might. I do make quite a lot of tutorials. Try and put out helpful content. It's along through the darkness. Our 182 Dispolock Banana. Back in the black hole. Let's go back in the cab then. At least we can see stuff from the cab. With our lack of a helper over here, I don't think we've got a helper. No helper. Oh, that's the one you meant. You meant the British Rail Class 700. When it, whenever Anarchist Angel, you say BR, I'm automatically thinking Germany. No, the Class 700's okay. I don't mind it at all. I don't like its um, car alarm sound very much, but that is what it does. So it, it seems to be faithful enough to the sounds. I know it wasn't, not all of the sounds were recorded from a 700. Some were recorded from a 350, which is pretty much the same train anyway. Just a different, different carrier. Below halfway to Fulda. I guess this is why um, there is night freight in Germany, because it's slow. You wouldn't want to get stuck behind this thing in an ICE. This is the section where the ICEs do 250 Ks. And he says, no helper in Germany, guess why? I can guess why. It's because German railways are efficient. It's driver-only operation. It's back to that look after yourself thing. Most of our trains are DOO. Things running out in the country have a, a second person. So even though it's a diesel, they still call it a fireman. Um, in the cities though, it's all DOO. And on the, the regional passenger trains, it's nearly always DOO unless it's loco hold. So if it's a DMU, it'll be DOO. And if it's a loco hold, it will normally have a second. The train's being naughty. It's beating by itself. the branded containers. Mm -hmm. 
probably place signage back there with one sign on top of another one. Andy says in Italy you have a helper on almost every train. Yeah, each railway operates quite differently. Must be quite challenging when you're driving a train that's crossing borders in Europe. Having to adapt to different systems as you progress through the network. It's bad enough here when we go from state to state. to take my word for it that this is a picturesque landscape and that it's relatively well done you'll just have to believe me on the bro because you can't see it sort of routes and trains do people want to see in the future train sim world? And what do you think the future might bring us? PICC asks... Would you mind telling me what a helper is? I've mentally so I'm curious. It's a second person, so over there is the second person's chair. And that's where the uh, the helper would sit. Uh, in this kind of train, it's mostly someone just to help you stay awake. And make sure that you are performing appropriately and doing all the right things at the right times and cross-checking signals with you and, and that sort of thing. In, in a train like the big diesels where, or a steam engine where one side uh, you can only, if you're running long nose first you can only see one side of the train they are your eyes so in this train I'm sitting in the right hand chair if this was a long nose thing I wouldn't be able to see on left hand corners so they would be watching on left hand corners and I'd just be staring out the window because I could TK's to Fulda, which is where this train terminates this evening, and then we'll go on to a light engine service that will be an absolute PZB festival. Andy says you have to have the license for the loco that you drive and the signalling for each country. Yeah, that's pretty much the same here from state to state. You have to be um, signed off in each particular loco, so you, you have your your driver's ticket or in my case the fireman's ticket but you um, do have to have your local training and you have to have your local radio training and your local signal training and everything else so it's not that different I guess because our states can't even agree on what gauge the railway should be let alone use the same signalling today we do have a standard gauge rail network 4 foot and 8 strange that we're a metric company country and we use 448 but there you go but we do also have the local gauges so the metropolitan network and the country network in victoria other than the interstate network is five foot three called broad gauge and then of course we have the railway that i work on which is two foot six Uh, anarchist angel either what you think or what you hope or both go for your life and yes I know about the rumours and I know about the leaks that have turned up in uh, various things I'm aware of those I won't talk about those as an ambassador but if you want to you can I mean, you know, free country free world whatever PICC says damn I'd love to work with trains it's really hard but I've always liked all the trains well Go and find yourself a railway company 
and see what you can do. So I work on a heritage steam railway. So I have a day job that earns the money that keeps my family fed and warm and things like that. And I, ha and I work on a volunteer railway on the weekends. The person who's sitting off to my left would say too many of the weekends. So you could always go and find yourself a heritage railway to, to operate on, but you know, if you like trains and you physically fit enough and that sort of thing, head off and see if you can get a driver's job. I don't know about Europe, but I know in Australia there's a massive shortage of train drivers and they're actually getting paid quite good money. So if it wasn't the age I am, I'd uh, contemplate it. But I don't know they'd bother training me when I could only work for them for 10 years. Andy says, oh, I was a helper too, because I had the honour to drive with a friend of mine on the 144 and the Dosto. That's pretty cool. It's always fun when you get to go out in a cab ride. The uh, little DMU line near me that runs from Frankston out to a town called Stony Point when that was a loco hauled service there was a particular driver that would recognize the rail fans and he was pretty well known for picking people up and giving you a cab ride and if he knew you well enough you could have a drive as well he is retired so they can't get him so it's perfectly safe to say that Andy says, and you have to know the route you go on. Route knowledge is very important. Route knowledge is very important everywhere. If you're operating on a route without route knowledge, um, you will fail. So in the game, we've got a HUD. We've got something that's telling us what signals say before we can see them. We, we've got a HUD that tells us where to stop. We've got the mini HUD down on the right-hand side that's telling us all sorts of stuff that we need to know about the train, all the important things. And we can operate the trains in a simplistic way should we choose, or we can operate them in a relatively realistic way should we choose. But the choice is ours. In a real train, the world is a lot different. Um, I'll give you an example on the Heritage Railway that I operate on. It's 18 miles long, 26 kilometres. We have lots of hills and lots of curves. I have to know where we're up to on the track at all times because I need to know not what steam the driver needs now, I need to know what steam the driver's going to need in five minutes' time. So I'm bringing this up. Because it takes coal a little while to actually make heat. So if you're going to need it, you have to start five minutes before you need it at least. Sometimes more depending on the circumstances. Anarchist Angel says, fun fact, in the earlier Bundesbahn, year cargo trains had conductors. Yeah, they did. Um, American trains, a lot of them do now. A lot of American trains still carry five people. Uh, Alaska's one of the railroads that does that. They have five people on every train. But mainly because they're kind of in the wilderness and you might need a lot of people to help if something goes wrong. Anarchist Angel hopes for Berlin. Ah, the big one. And says the rumours and leaks in the Vectron, or were the other ones I missed? Yes, there is the Vectron. The Vectron reminds me of a, um, a guy with a toupee. This is the way it looks. But, yep. An unconfirmed rumour. We shall see. Hello, Neil TB8. How are you? PICC says that's amazing. Ah, welcome. It is awesome fun. I have been in training as a steam fireman for how many months is it now? About eight. And I noticed on my next roster, not the one on tomorrow, but the one after that, I'm actually rostered on with an assessor. So they haven't told me, but maybe that's going to be my assessment. We'll see. We shall see. But it does take a very long time and a lot of runs to learn it because firing a steam engine is a bit of a dark art. There's science to it, but there's um, 
art to it as well. Hope you're well, Neil. And yes, in real life, we do have timetables and Ebola. Even freight trains do have a loose timetable generally. Um, in, it's not quite true, so true in the US. In the US, they have a dispatcher that's controlling stuff, but they still use paths. So there is still a timetable, whether the driver knows it or not. You've gotten home, Daniel. Excellent. Good that you've arrived safely. Anarchist Angel says, honestly, I don't like the Vectron. I don't know why. It's not a bad locomotive. Or the drivers tend to like it. We don't have one yet, so goodness knows what I'll find out. I just don't like its looks. Oh well, that's all right. Andy asked, do you own the Vectron from K Trains for Train Simulator Classic? It's the best Vectron in TSC. I'm not actually sure. I've got something like... 300 DLC for Train Sim Classic. I have too many DLC for Train Sim Classic. I'll admit that. I'm kind of a, a DLC hoarder because every time the sales come out, I buy a couple. So I do have rather a lot. So I don't actually know if I've got that one, to be honest. I would have to have a look. Only 15 k's out of full an hour. Let me actually... Uh, you guys can't see it if I do this anyway, so if I flip over to the Steam screen... Oops. Safer. Of course I get safer the moment I do that. And I go to Train Sim Classic. And... Any DLC? Yeah, I've got a few. Okay. I don't think I'll to admit that number. Okay, though. Back to the game. And Sifa didn't get me while I was doing that. Yay. We'll have to see what you think of the um, Vectron when it comes out, Anarchist Angel. I mean, you could always make it pink, pink and make it more interesting or something. Make a Barbie train out of it. I did see someone's done that to a Class 700 and made a Barbie train. question is, will we get a black and grey train to be the Oppenheimer train? Maybe we should get a brown and green one with big balls and ivy and stuff on the side to be the Indiana Jones train. Would seem fair, wouldn't it? Andrea said it's only available on the K-Train shop. He also has the 186 in stock. I can find it. That's a manual. I don't want a manual. Just want ktrains.com. Ktrains, there it is. See if I. Wham, brakes on. At least it doesn't put the brakes on in this one. It's just k-trains.com, isn't it? Google only finds a manual. Found the website. to actually show a browser currently I'd have to change things don't think I'll try and do that while I'm driving Andy says he hopes the Vectron will be better than the 187 that one was crap yep pretty much I mean it got it got a bit better but it's not there yet that one was a bit of a weird one um, at one point when I was using it, it was better, and then it seemed to regress. So, I don't really know what happened to that one. Bit of a strange one. We're almost at Fulder, and then we'll change to a daytime run, which will be a little more visually interesting. 
Anarchist Angel says, Castle Wurzburg is not a bad route by any means, but I still like it the least because it's driving its stare at a dark screen for a while. Yeah, it is a bit like that. I actually thought this was a short run. I thought it went to one of the sidings partway through, and I didn't realise it was a full-length run. But, you know, once you start it, you've got to finish it. But then I'll switch over to the... Uh, switch over to the daytime one which will be on BRO, Bremen Oldenburg so we've only got a few more minutes of the darkness like a decidedly American bridge back there Six more kilometres to Fulda. We will come to a stop. And I think we'll have an LZV end before Fulda, won't we? If I remember rightly. Actually, no. Fulda's the one in the middle. I should get an LZV end. It's the one in the middle. Yeah, it is. Fulda's the one in the middle. So we should just come to a stop. Anarchist Angel was so hyped when the 187 came out. One of my favourite locos. Well, the 147, but it's basically the same. And I pre-ordered and, yeah, no. Shoddy sounds are a deal breaker. Yeah, it, it is quite disappointing, really. Um, the other one that's a bit disappointing is uh, Horseshoe Curve. The AC4400 on Horseshoe Curve. It's a bit... Um, a bit sad, really. When I make scenarios for Horseshoe Curve, I tend to take the one off Cajon Pass and use those trains on Horseshoe Curve. They're not the right fit and they're not the right brand, but it's a better train, so I don't care. It's more fun. That sounds good. Hello, poor house. How are you? This is the Dispolock Flying Banana, indeed. Andreas says 187 was the only loco I refunded on Steam. Um, before I was an ambassador, I did actually refund the 187 myself. Um, I have got it again as part of the ambassador program when it was updated. I got it to um, to show, but um, no, it still doesn't make me happy. We are now coming into the yard on the way into Fulda into the freight yard. We are going to have an LZB in. Okay, so I need to whack the button and I need to take control back. Don't I? LZB hasn't ended yet, but it will soon. Just reduce my power so we stop slipping. So I think I'm in control now. I think. Still in control. Oh, I still have some distance on my thing to go, don't I? Start slowing it down anyway. I mean, it's slowing down, but if the signal's not red, it's not going to. But it is slowing me down. Oh, now it's ended. Now I'm in control. Technology. going to let me off this? No, it's going to make me stop. Alright. Brakes on then. I didn't acknowledge a signal. It's going to be so close too. And I'm going to have to reset it. And I should be able to drive again. I 
I messed that up. Come on, little loco. You'll power up. Forced me to wait a minute. It is, isn't it? No, it's releasing the brakes now. All right, we can throttle up. There we go. It was making me wait. Fair enough. All right, let me get back onto this thing. Uh, Fulda is the one with the signal box. Looks like a dog. Yeah, I think it's actually a pig, but yes. Anarchist Angel says I'm not familiar with those. What's wrong with the HSC ones? Um, their physics aren't great, and their sounds are awful especially the dynamic sounds the the driving sounds not so bad but on that route it's a lot of downhill so it's kind of important the dynamic sounds are good and they're not are you gonna drive little loco come on throttle off throttle back on let's see what it does brakes are off so we've got that far and i'm in monitoring so I better bring my PZB speed down. Why is it putting the brakes back on? I'm confused. Now it's releasing the brakes again. I'm confused. What's it doing? Poor house says you just finished playing this 10 minutes ago. Did you do better than me? Because I think I've busted it. Let's just try and put the brakes on and do the button dance and release again and see if I can power up this time oh I know what it might be I might have to put this back to zero and then put it back on again and then power up no there we go that is what I had to do I had to put the AFB back to zero and then put it back up. We're all good. It's going to drive. We're getting there. And thank you, chat. It's uh, just as those chat messages came up, because I don't know if you know, but you're on about a 20 second delay. I um, managed to get there. So, yes. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Michael Newbury's oh, poor house says Michael Newbury peace with it and Andy says I just got into the Steam game in TSW and surprise I like the English Locos which I don't in TSC oh, that's cool they're, they're not too bad they, they need some work on Steam like actually making Steam but driving's relatively okay I think I don't mind them Warhouse said, put it on power one and watch it slow itself down. And coasting is an efficient way to maintain speed. Yes, that's in the uh, training. It's not really an efficient way to maintain speed. We don't really need to accelerate very much, so let's just stick it down to about 20 k's. Oh, I'm Sifa. Don't yell at me, Sifa. Come on. Power it back up. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bye. There we go. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Taking control, folks. We're doing it ourselves. Poor house says he never touches the brakes. going to move there it goes all this effort for 500 meters all right the flying banana is off and running again yay neil says i did get stuck on munich augsburg due to i had to acknowledge a solid green signal on the route when i shouldn't have to uh, has it got a speed limit sign on it or near it neil Some of them have signs on them that you have to acknowledge. 
it. So if it's a speed change downwards, for example. And some of them are just wrong. Uh, poor house said I had to do this in to this TSD. Yep. Well, you mucked up the end of the uh, LZB section as well, I guess. That is life. Well, what's streaming if you don't screw it up sometimes? Annika Stangel says there's multiple like that on MAG. In Augsburg, you have a lot of signals showing HP2 and BR1. The game forces you to acknowledge them. It was one of the earlier PZB implementations, that route. I don't have to acknowledge the 500, but I do have to stay going slowly, and I do have to answer CFAR, which I didn't, so it put the brakes on, but we survived. them on stream because last time I did it I got a copyright strike um, but there are some awesome recordings of the Siemens locomotives playing music you should seek them out on YouTube and have a bit of a watch just search for something like Siemens musical train little banana Let's see how you did. Siva was monkeying me, apparently. All right. Glod. Despite the mess up at the end there. But we stayed under the speed limit the whole way, so that's all right. <sighs> and this is a, a, you know, just a note to the Xbox folks. Roots are downloaded separately. Choose a route. Bunstrep, Bremen, Oldenburg. Timetable. Banana. And which one are we doing? T66391? No. Because I didn't click the right thing because I'm a donkey. Maybe I should have run the other one and not the banana. Mm. What do you reckon? Let's run the other one. Let's not use the banana. Let's use that one. T six six three nine one no. Am I not allowed to do this run in this train? Maybe six six three. I'm sure, it was nine one. Maybe I'm not allowed to do it in in this train. Maybe these are loaded car train. No, these are these are. What are these? Drive this light engine from Remnant HBF to Hood. Mm, I'm confused now. Let me pop back one and let me choose the banana. Yeah, there it is. It's, you have to run it as a banana. 66391, that's the one I want. Okay. Why didn't I select lightning? I wanted to select lightning for this one. You know we're going to have to go back and select lightning now. Because we need lightning. We're having lightning. Apologies for those who are waiting. We're having lightning. We're going to do it. Bremen Oldenburg. Timetable. Banana. That banana. T66391. Right, and we want... Lightning storm, go. Yeah, I'd like to try the red one, but um, unfortunately it can't run the service that I want. Yay, that's better. Okay, now let's wait a moment. So let's go turn some stuff on. Turn on Lisbut Cifa. Oops, too much of a spin. PZB 
sit in the chair thing, AFB, finish setting up, headlights bright, lights are on, reading lights are off. Ah, windscreen wipers are down here somewhere, I think. PZB mode M is fine. That'll do. Versa. Start getting our brakes off. Let's just put the locomotive brake on, because it's only us, I believe. It is only us. Look at that. Us and the lonely little banana. And when I open the window, I won't hear the train at all. Oops. Alright, off we go. And we probably want to give it a bit of AFB as well. Turn on AFB, didn't I? I'm sure I turned on AFB. AFB off. AFB on. Okay. That's better. Actually not going to set it to 50, I'm going to set it to 40 because we have to go through the station and that's 40. Here we go! Flying banana warming up to takeoff speed. You know, it really helps if you release the brakes. on monitoring safe to release the PZB HUD has been very helpful I have to say Neil says no it happens when approaching a red signal okay so it's looking one ahead on the signals probably yeah already Anarchist Angel wants to see the speedo working. We'll do a... We'll go back to Rapid Transit and do a quick one at the end of this. So you can see the speedo and we'll see if see if it is working or not. So last time you are on Rapid Transit with it, there was a 20k difference at 120 kilometres an hour. That'd be interesting. I didn't actually look at that, so yeah, you could be right. I just saw it was right down the bottom. Oh, that says do it. I'm about to go to the park real fast. Lol. We're already at 40k. I don't have to acknowledge this signal because it's got no magnet. The next one probably does. Should have to acknowledge it, but I don't. Okay. Through the wilds of Bremen Oldenburg. This one I'll have to acknowledge for sure. Eight signs, so no horniness. I need to worry about slowing down to 70 somehow. I'm already there. Uh, Neil says it goes like this. I would get a solid green. I'm just glancing back because I know there's a lot of red signals on this run. I've got to be careful. So I have to don't have to acknowledge this, but I would go through the same green aspect and have to acknowledge any yellow that I should be acknowledging. Yeah, it's interesting. Simulate I see to have an excuse to push use both pantographs. I can put both pantographs up. You can do that next time it's we stop if it excites people. I have to acknowledge do have to acknowledge that one. That's interesting. It's 
there's going to be a lot of button pushing on this route, that's for sure. Neil says there's a bug on rapid transit when LZB puts you at 40 k's for no reason at all. That wouldn't surprise me. It does happen when you're following other trains sometimes. So have a look out in front of you, many kilometres in front of you, and just see if there's another train that's... If you're in a non-stopping pattern and it's in a stopping pattern, every time it stops, LZB will slow you down. I don't know if it should work that well, but it does. Coming up on our first red, so there's no point in accelerating. Anarchist Angel says you didn't need to acknowledge either. The first was a repeater, never have to acknowledge those, and the second was showing no restrictive announcement. <coughs> Sipa. Every time I read the chat, red shot. See, I can actually put him on Dovetail Live today. <laughs> have some yellow signals. A while till our red one. We're going quite slow anyway, so it's fine. Anarchist Angel says, Oh, I didn't mean the ICE, I meant literal ice on the catenary. When there's a lot of ice, sometimes use both pantos to avoid losing contact. Stop it, Sifa. We're going to stop anyway. It's fine. A miscellaneous umbrella people. Watch the flying banana slide through the station very, very slowly. Angel says both pantographs are connected to the same line on the roof, so it doesn't matter which one is up as long as one of them is. If we stop for this red signal, I'll um, wander back and put them both up, just for the hell of it. gone green anyway, but I'm still going to stop. Let's just leap up while it's doing that. Because I think the pantograph selectors up here. Maybe it's not. No, maybe it's up there. The train's yelling at me because I ran away. Brake selector, pantograph selector. Front, back, both. There we go. Yeah, quiet you. Oops, wrong button. Ah, well I set both, but we've only got one. There you go. So it doesn't work. Yeah, I know. But it's not green anymore. It's not red anymore. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, I have to reset AFB, don't I? AFB maybe? Turn it back on. Done something to enrage the train god. Let's just turn off AFB. Because I have enraged it. I turned AFB back on when I had it off. 
is going really well. the train god when all else fails turn it off and turn it on again pantographs no not that one okay so, I think I can put my pantographs down and up again. Hmm. Turned AFB back on again. Are you going to let me drive train? Or not? Any suggestions, folks? Did release. I'll try it again. Yeah, it's happy now. Yeah, maybe I just released too early before. Maybe there's a timer. Ah well. Off we go again. We are now in monitoring, but I can release if I want to, so I will. Off we go. Thank you, Anarchist Angel. Another power. I should have tail lights on on the back, shouldn't I? But I don't. Oh well. Light setting that'll give me tail lights on the back. Front and remote locomotive, this vehicle only. Tail lights, this vehicle only. Headlights and tail lights. There we go. Aha! Yes! Now I have both. And we're allowed to go faster. For the Pantos, there's a lever to raise them and lower them. Did I not acknowledge? No, it's fine, it's happy. Relax. <laughs> Even next to the MCB. Am I going too fast for my PZB mode? Maybe that's the problem. I reckon that's why it keeps putting the brakes on, because I'm going over 120. I reckon that's what this is. Yeah, see, now I'm back below 120. It's letting me tolerate again. So if I set my PZB mode down here, or wherever it is, is it O for passenger? Let's try that. Am I allowed to go faster now? Let's find out. So if it breaks me at 120, I'll know. There we go, that's better. No, no, it really doesn't want me to go over 120. It's going to make me stay under 120. 125, by the looks of it. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Should I do this while we're moving? Eh, it's got batteries. What's the problem? Raves! Throttle off. Who is the main circuit breaker? Now I've got power again. And I have two pantographs. Yay! I was a little bit worried about doing that on the move, but there you go. Oh, so I actually have to reset PZB as well for that. Okay. In that case, I should stop. Because I'm going to reset PZB.
an AFB off as well. Shut up, Seeker. AFB all the way off. When it stops, we will reset PZB and turn it back on again. And I made it mad last time by getting up when it was moving, so I won't do that again. Right. That one. PZB off. Is it be on? Now let's see if we can go faster. So we'll turn AFB back on. Take it right up to 160. Right below it. Release the Krakens. See what we're allowed to do now. It's powering up. gone into monitoring but I can release it. Now let's see if we're allowed to go fast. Let us go. golden. This is better. We've mucked around for so long I probably have, have to catch up with whatever was supposed to cause me red lights now. And the Castangel says you can do it on the move and sometimes even have to as some trains don't fit in tunnels with pantos up. Just always turn off the MCB first. That's why I made it mad. Neil says you should always be able to reset below 40Ks because then it would go into the start program again. we have successfully allowed to go fast now, which is good. I don't know where our lightning went. We have no lightning. We only have rain. Where are you, lightning? We have a little bit of arcing and sparking from the pentos. That's good. We keep hitting our head on things. That's not good. And we have to come down to 120 soon, so I'll start AFB doing that. Set up 115. Hopefully it'll make it down to that speed by the time we get there, so I don't get myself in trouble. It's a very wet platform, isn't it? speed now, which is good. Catching up to the red signals again, also good. I don't know why I turned on LZB before, because, you know, it's not an LZB route. There's no central wire running down the middle of the track. go fast again but we're coming up to a red so I'll just leave it alone. So we've caught back up with um, the train that's supposed to be stopping us. Oh not quite so we'll speed up again actually. That was the main reason I wanted to speed up was, was to catch up with the train that's causing us to have to drive slowly. Because I mucked around for so long that I lost it. And that's the whole fun of this scenario is you're driving following something. And no, I don't want to get braked by the PZBGU. Or GU. I think it's U when there's an umlaut. No one on that platform. Not at all. Did they open? They either don't open or there's another train coming. I'll just go back to my train. This one's open. I'm sure some of the gates on Bremen Oldenburg work. 
Maybe not these ones. Hmm. Weird. Oh, there's another train coming. That's what the problem is. Let's it should mean this set of gates should open, shouldn't it? There's no tra other train coming. Or not. Maybe they just don't work. I thought this stuff worked on this route, but clearly not. That's life. There's Wem Bring Song here. Just a high-speed banana. Some nice sparking there. Sparking as well. myself a little bit. When I stay out of the cab too long, I get in trouble. Now the high speed run through an empty station. Catching up with something. So I had better start slowing down. break because it's not going to get there in time by itself. Then I be off and drive. Signal's gone green again. Annika Stangel says, should have gone to bed 40 minutes ago. I'm going to regret that tomorrow. Yeah, probably. You should go to bed. Have some sleep. Supposedly catching up with is very quick because if I'm running at this speed and I'm still not quite catching up with it, I'm only just on the edges of it, it's uh, something fast. that and didn't have to because I've started following the uh, the simple PZB method if it doesn't move acknowledge it acknowledge bushes acknowledge trees acknowledge signals acknowledge cats acknowledge stations Volkswagens people standing on the side maybe the occasional rock just spam the button There are a couple of trains that get mad at you if you do that, though. They punish you. Trains, yes. Trains and someone who barely knows PZB, so it's more entertaining. finished anyway. We've only got 15 k's to go, I think. And that will be it for today. Thanks 
week we'll be back on Sunday as normal so for some of you that'll be Saturday usual time Saturday today because I'm running a real train tomorrow next week we're back on Sunday my next two shifts after tomorrow are Saturday shifts as well too so that's helpful Angel says, when in doubt, acknowledge it's a fail-safe strategy, so I like it. It's actually the rule, officially. Well, it's probably better to over-acknowledge than to um, miss one. Because if you miss one, your train's going to stop, and you're going to have a timetable delay then. catching up with has simply run away. So don't have to worry about that anymore. Anarchist Angel says, i.e. not every sign showing you to slow down to 90 actually triggers a thousand hertz GU, but the rules still say you must acknowledge all signs and signals showing less than 100. Fair enough. a bad rule because it's proving that you're thinking about it. I need to be careful with my speed because if I go over some speed sensing magnets, BZB will go whack. You're naughty. I'm making you stop. 9Ks to go. That couldn't be a destination though because it's just a place. Must be just in a yard somewhere. Let's see for again. Can't make it easily. Come on, it's quite so early because it's close. It's close. It's close. Made it. Can't even see this red signal yet. There it is. Speed down before the next magnet if there is one. the loco break we wait for our little red signal to clear waiting waiting this is real railway life bit of hurry up and wait let's have a bit of a look what is out in front of us is there anything or is it just the service program this way no we are following something see it's long too, whatever it is. It's probably a freight train. Let me go have a look. No, the other way. This is where I wish I could fly. Oh look, I can. That signal's gone green now, so let's uh brakes off and start that moving. I don't know if we'll actually catch up with this. It might be going a bit too quick for the fly camera suspect it is because I would have expected we'd be there by now but we are not and I better be careful because we'll be in monitoring back here I don't know I would have thought we would so we'll be going to the same yard as that other train I expect
thief up. Give away a key today, wasn't I? Oh, almost forgot. Let me get my key list. I'll just leave this thing coasting for a moment. Ah, giving away a key. Something German would be appropriate, wouldn't it? Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. What about Hopstreg Hamburg Lübeck? HHL. We'll give that away. Sifa. Sifa. Steam key for HHL. First in, best dressed, if anybody doesn't have it. If no one claims it during the stream, I will post it in a post. So if you do claim it, please let me know. That's for Train Sim World. Hopsbeck Hamburg Lübeck. Hopsbeck, sorry. I almost forgot to do that. That would have been naughty. Can I get some lightning finally? No! No lightning! Oh well. Do I happen to have a spare glossop line? Let me have a look. Let me just mark this one as given away. Glossop. Hmm. Let's come back quickly, Sifa. Not actually sure if I do, because I buy these keys. I don't know if I've got a glossop. I do not have a glossop. New. No. Actually, I've got one. It's just a Q. I don't know what this key is. Oh, it's Caltrain. Okay. No, I don't have a spare glossop, sadly. What else might you be interested in, Anarchist Angel? Oops. Tell you what I'll do. Uh, uh, TSW3 stuff, so... No, that's given away. Oops, better behave myself. Sure, I'm being stopped because I wasn't paying attention. It's going to stop me anyway. Because I didn't acknowledge the speed down would be my bet while I was off looking at keys. So we'll just let this thing come to a stop. Uh, the things that I have... Train Sim World. Have I got anything else up there? I've got an Edinburgh Glasgow. I've got a Luzerne Circe. I've got an Isle of Wight 2022. Uh, what else have I got that's not being given away? I've got Marseille Avignon. I've got a Class 20 Chopper. I've got a Clinchfield. <coughs> I've got uh, Cathcart Circle. Norton Trans Pennine, Brighton Mainline. Navurka Dresden. Got a Caltrain Baby Bullet. Got a Tees Valley. Peninsula Corridor. A Great Western Express. Rhine Rural Austin. Wuppertal to Hagen. And a Long Island Railroad. New York to Hicksville. Oops, and sorry about the mouse. Did you get that one, in, Andy? If any of those other ones are interesting, you guys do watch a lot, so I can chuck another key out there. So let me know if any of those are interesting. It's random bush intrusion time. 
So I talked to Matt Peddleston about random bushes, and he goes, well, random bushes are real. They grow by railways, and they brush down the side of trains. And I go, yes, but they don't come inside, and the train breaks them off and makes a nice smooth corridor down through the bush. But no, deaf ears. Excellent. Enjoy that one, Andy. Basically what I do is I buy the humble bundles and then I give away the keys. So many things to acknowledge as you come into a yard. Which is interesting because it's the time you most need to pay attention but all these systems are distracting you. That's okay. And there's the train that we were following, stopped over on that track there. And we finally get some lightning. Finally. saying pure for a gobble, but I don't know why. Enjoy Andy and beware the LF690 that takes you right out of your 160. Yeah, it's a bit of a bugger that route sometimes. But they all have their gotchas. And if they were perfect, we wouldn't have anything to complain about. Like this train full of white cars. I'm glad they fixed that on subsequent routes. It always bugged me that all the cars were white. Flying banana coming through. Stand clear, please. Gonna have a 500 hertz magnet up here. our 500 and a Cifa. Looks like we're joining a long line of trains standing at red signals. That signal nearly always catches me, Anarchist Angel. past the stopping point, but I like to be closer to the signal. That means I have to go backwards, doesn't it? Because its stopping point is too tight. At least we get to hear it count up its tones again. I think that AI train's actually passed its red signal just out of interest. It wanted me to stop back here. That'll be it. Alrighty. That's it for today's stream. So, Anarchist Angel says, when you go from Hamburg to Lübeck, you're like 60, 100, 120, 140, 160. Finally, and suddenly there's an LF6 asking you to go 90. And if you don't break quite steeply, you won't make it to 80. That one does bite me. I've been there. And it yells to Freigabe at you. Door release as a reminder. If you happen too frequently that drivers would stop at stations but forget to open the doors. Now trains remind us. Okay. All right. Oh, I learnt something. That's cool. Well, thanks very much for watching, folks. Next week we'll be back to the usual day. So we're back on a Sunday. And we will be at the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. We The route comes from the Durango Historical Society. You can buy it from their website. I will make sure there's a link for next time. And it's pretty cheap. It's only about 15 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. And it's a good route. The loco that comes with it is okay, but it's not amazing. It doesn't have an inside cab, for example, so you're always outside. Um, it doesn't worry that much in TSC because, you know, you are the train in TSC. You're not the driver. And it should be fun. And I'll replace that, or I already have done it. I've already edited all the scenarios. I did it last night instead of sleeping because I'm an idiot. Um, and I've put the milepost simulations train into it instead. All right, folks, enjoy yourselves. Sleep well for those of you who have reached that time of the day and have fun. And we'll see you next week, hopefully. 
and tomorrow I'm off on a real train, so wish me luck. Alrighty, see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.